hello beautiful people welcome to our channel today i'm going to share with you our regular wash gel routine that promotes healthy beautiful hair now let's get started with this video healthy hair starts with healthy scalp and one of the way to have a healthy scalp is to make sure that it's not dirty this is why it's important to shampoo our scalp picking the right shampoo is really important so far what i have been doing when i pick my shampoo is to make sure that it doesn't have any sulfates or any extra chemical that is not good for the hair the longer her hair is the harder it is for me to shampoo every part of her hair so this is why every time when i shampoo her hair i always do it in sections this is to make sure that I can put the shampoo in every part of her hair when putting shampoo on her hair I make sure to put shampoo on her scalp and not just on her scalp but also on her hair because I don't just want the scalp to be clean and her hair strings are dirty so I make sure to put it on her scalp massage her scalp and put it also on her hair the next thing that I do that I feel that promote healthy hair is that I always do a hair treatment sometimes I do do onion juice like on this day I did the onions onion water rinse sometimes I'll do avocado hair mask sometimes I'll do protein hair mask I always try to incorporate some kind of hair treatment on wash day especially if I have gone like two or three weeks without washing her hair I believe I already posted a video of how I make my onion juice if you're interested I will link it above or put it in the description box for you to see how I make my onion juice water it's also important to let the treatment get into the hair into the scalp this is why whenever i do a hair treatment i always put a plastic cap and let it sit for like 30 minutes or so depending on how much time i have but i always make sure to let the treatment get into the hair by allowing it to sit on the hair or the scalp for 20 minutes that's the least or an hour now the next thing I have added into our wash day routine, I recently started doing this, is to add oil into my hair mask or my deep conditioner. I watched a YouTuber that say that she always does that, so I decided to start adding this into our wash day, and I believe that this is also working. I would say that when it comes to deep conditioner, it all depends on your hair. My daughter's hair, one has low porosity, the other one has high porosity. So for the one who has high porosity, I usually try to do like hair mask that has protein. Like this deep conditioner is a hair mayo kind of protein deep conditioner so i will use that on her hair but i will not use that as often on my other doll's hair who has low porosity hair so when it comes to deep conditioner you have to pick what's good for your hair after rinsing the onion water i'm gonna put my deep conditioner on her hair and this is also the time for me to detangle her hair her hair is already detangled before i start washing her hair but i always try to detangle her hair again when I'm adding this deep conditioner. One thing I will say is that I haven't found a good detangler. If you know a good detangler, let me know in the comment below because I always use a comb and I see a lot of people that promote a lot of, um, how you call it, detangler. And I bought about two, three different type of detangler and I don't like it. I feel like it pulled her hair. So let me know in the comment below if you have a good detangler that you will recommend me to use. Again, one of the trick of getting healthy hair is to make sure that the treatment get into the hair. So this is why it's important to leave that deep conditioner into the hair for about 20 minutes at least or an hour. After leaving the deep conditioner on her hair for 30 minutes or an hour, it's time to rinse her hair. But before I rinse her hair, I always take the time to massage her scalp. It's really important to massage her scalp because we all know massaging the scalp stimulates hair growth because it moves the blood around, help the blood to flow around the scalp. So it's really important to do this. Sometimes it's annoying, but it's important. So I always take the time to massage her scalp. And now that she's getting older, I try to allow her to massage her own scalp, teaching her how to do little things when it comes to wash day. 
Now it's time to wash out the deep conditioner. Because she has high porosity hair, I'm going to use water that is not too cold, but a little cold enough to close up those follicles. Another thing I do that I feel like promotes healthy, strong hair is to pour rosemary water on her hair when I'm finished washing her hair. So this is the last rinse I'm going to do. I'm gonna rinse her hair out with some rosemary water. I'm just gonna pour this rosemary water on her hair before I move on to the next step. I believe I already posted a video of how I make my rosemary water. I will link it above or link it below in the description box. My next step will be to put a leave-in conditioner on her hair. This is also important. I used to just wash her hair. Before, I used to just wash her hair and leave her hair like that and put the leave-in conditioner on the next day or whatever but now i realized that it's really important to put the living conditioner on her hair on the day that i wash her hair i don't have to do it in the shower because she has high porosity hair for my other daughter who has low porosity hair it's really important for me to do it in the shower because when her follicles are open this is the time to put the living conditioner on her hair but for today i just felt like i wanted to do it in the shower so the next step is always to put a leave-in conditioner on the hair after washing the hair i also always put oil on her hair i know some people don't believe in oils but i do so i always put an oil after putting the leave-in conditioner on her hair this is to seal in the water and the leave-in conditioner that i just put on her hair after washing her hair i sometimes blow dry her hair I would say that this is not the part that I feel like keep her hair healthy because I'm still believe that blow drying or heat damage the hair. I'm still in and out with this idea of using heat or not heat or blow drying the hair. I'm still learning that process, but this is something that I do not to keep her hair healthy, but this is something that I do just to make her hair be a little bit easy to manage. Let me know in the comment below how do you feel about using heat or not using heat on hair i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope that i was able to share something new to you if you did find something interested or something you enjoy in this video let me know in the comment below thank you guys for watching this video and see you on our next video bye <music>